Hi there everyone, I'm going to try and explain the replicator comp as quickly and simply as possible. Wish me luck. The replicator component is basically something that allows us to replicate or copy elements of our networks multiple times. I think of this a little bit like object-oriented programming where we take a block of code and copy that many times with its own unique instances. For example, I can use it to create many elements of an alphabet, which I can then instance in a 3D texture. Or I can move things into something that's more kind of silly and programmatic, where I have a circle that I copy many times, and then I feed in different commands to those circles. Let's just take a look at what that code is doing here. Okay, so I'm going to delete everything here and start from scratch. Also closing this. We can find the replicator comp in our components window. I'll bring in replicator here. We have a few elements to control. We can replicate by a table or by a number. In this instance, I'll use numbers. We can give our object a prefix. This is basically when it's replicated, what it will be named. And we also have this area for a master operator, and this is the operator that we're going to copy. So let's start out really simply, and let's create a noise. I'm going to make it monochrome. I'm going to put the period up to three. And I'm going to drag this into my replicator as my master operator. So my master operator is noise one. For the operator prefix, this is what all our copies will be called. I'm just going to say n underscore. So Every object will be called n underscore followed by a number. The suffix start is basically the number that you start from. So I'm going to start from zero. And I want to generate 10 replicants. So we can see here that we've created 10 replicants of our noise. We can arrange them in a horizontal, vertical, or grid layout. And we can also maneuver them around the screen to put them somewhere maybe a bit more relevant. What we can do to make this more interesting is we could add something that's going to use the power of these numbers. So let's say for seed, we're going to write me.digits. And this is going to set the seed value as whatever the number is following the noise label. Now, we're going to see that none of these have changed. And this is because we have to recreate all operators. So we can hit this button here, and now we're going to see all our noises have a separate seed. We can have it more easily accessible with a keyboard in. Obviously, this is kind of a simple output. We could go ahead and make things much more complicated. You could do things with a feedback loop or all sorts of stuff. So let's kind of create something that we're going to manipulate here. With the noise selected, we're going to right click on our background and say collapse selected. And we're going to call that noise. We're now going to drag this in as our new component just to make sure that that's linked. Now, if we press that key, it's going to make multiple versions of this noise. Again, let's do a value here, a seed value. So noise underscore zero, yes to all. Let's go inside. We can see that me.digits is still applied, but basically all of these other cloned operators are gonna have the same value of one, because there's just one noise in there. So if we are working in a component, what we need to do is say something like parent.digits. And then that's going to link to whatever value your parent is. So that one is one. And this one should be five. However, let's relink that. There we go. So again, it's important to reinstance. In that case, I pressed the one key, which basically is triggering my recreation of all operators. So now I can do something a bit more interesting to that noise within this container and then take that output and have that do something. I'm going to bring in a component in the interests of time. Let's do this one. And this is a sort of a point distortion effect. I'm going to split my screen just so I can see some stuff. So I'm going to bring this out into a null. 
Okay, let's see what the parameters we have are and quickly just maneuver those. Okay, I'm gonna give myself a noise value that I can use to instance this. Sure, I'll do time slice and I'm gonna say period is like pretty high. I'm going to add that to my threshold turn up the amplitude or turn down the amplitude okay there we go let's slow that down quite a lot and I'm going to set this to parent dot digits so each of these is going to have its own unique seed and that's going to be it. If I now hit my one key to regenerate, let's see what all of these things have. I've got to add an out. And that's my way of accessing this chop on the outside. So re-instance by hitting one. And we've got lots of different types of noise, which is kind of really interesting. So what I might want to do is I might want to say composite all of these together. One way of doing this would be just to drag all of those into a comp. You can see this is really hitting my frame rate. I should probably downsample my noise texture. And let's do something like an over. And so now we have all of these objects moving over each other. I'm going to go to a smaller number. I'm just going to do five. And if we actually want to have this connect automatically whenever we generate, because if I make a change and press one, we're going to see that that component no longer has any connections. We can actually script this. So we have our replicator callbacks right here. And if I open that up, edit contents in text port, what I can do at the bottom of this def on replicate is for each of these new components, we can see it's looping through all of these new operators. I can say C dot output connectors with a capital C. And we want zero. We want that output at the zero index dot connect. And then we referenced our operator, which is op. It's our composite, so let's see what that's called. Comp one. So we label that and then do our double brackets. So now if we hit the one key, it's going to automatically correct so that all of these are connected automatically, which is great. I can close that and let's try some other things here. Let's maybe do like a minimum, maximum blend, chroma difference, lots of fun things you could play around with. The goal here is really just to have some kind of visual just so I can show you the, the difference. This is maybe not the most useful case for this operator, but it's kind of an interesting thing to play around with. And hopefully this gives you some ideas for your own work.